Oh, tell us a little bit about Vista. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm curious about, in particular, kind of conflicting things. I think you were the visionary, right? You uh, put together something. Um, you wanted to, in some sense, imprint that, your, you know, what your concepts are. But you also have to remain flexible. Yeah. Um, and that's a, you know, that's always, I always also have the same challenge. Right. Um, you know, how do you, on one hand, you don't want to let it go because, you know, you're sort of wanting to get to something, you know, right. bigger and better. Right. Um, on the other hand, you need to be opportunistic. You need sure. to be flexible. Sure. How do you manage So, this? listen, for this audience, which I think are made up of entrepreneurs, uh, it is important to have certain philosophies in managing your business. Um, there's a couple that I use. I'm going to focus on one here. One is I call the principle of self-replication, right? Because you all will pretend that, oh, I'm the best representative of every person in my company, and they should act just like I would act. There's a problem with that, OK? Um, because you actually aren't the best person in that job because it evolves and all those sort of things. So you actually have to create what I call a space and, and volume for people to fill with who they are. Mm. And this is the principle uh, that I call, you know, you need to create a platform where people can become their best selves, OK? And becoming your best self is not only understanding why we are doing what we're doing, but you have to have room for them to contribute their capabilities into your ecosystem mm. and into that ecosystem where it can now evolve into a better, a, a better solution for the collective. And then you have to have mechanisms by which that naturally occurs. For instance, I have these things called BPSS's Best Practice uh, Sharing Summits. Every month, somewhere on the planet, our top 300, 400 executives by function are getting together. Mm. Okay, for two or three days. Mm -hmm. And it might be sales, marketing, GNA, whatever it might be. And in those two or three days, you know, of 50 portfolio companies, there'll be, you know, 400 people in sales, you know, regional sales reps, you know, national sales rep, et cetera. And they're going to teach and train each other on these best practices mm. over two and a half and three days. And so those who are doing the teaching, of course, now have the ability to what I call express the refinements and express how they've actually implemented some of these best practices and how they've been effective. Mm -hmm. Those in the audience who've just joined the portfolio, we've just bought the company, mm -hmm. okay, now have a chance to participate and see and learn and hopefully it becomes aspirational because it usually does. They say, man, you know, in a year or two or three years, I want to be the one up there teaching mm -hmm. my, my colleagues. And then you create a peer mentoring network. It's very different. Entrepreneurs, as you probably know, as if you're executives, I mean, it's a lonely environment. It's a lonely world. Who do you talk to, right? Well, if you think about it and you're in a company of 200 employees and 500 running sales and services, well, who is your peer group? Who do you talk to about some question that you have where there's not a conflict? So I like to think that it's we- It's kind of like being dean. Yeah, it kind of, well, you're, it's a lonely <laughs> job, right? You know, well, you can go talk to your president. She's, she's lovely and she's wonderful and smart yeah. and helpful, but she's going to conflict you out if, if, if you don't do something the way she wants to do it. Um, but that's an interesting thing, right? You know, and so for you entrepreneurs in this audience, I would also recommend YPO, um, Young Presidents Organization, if you could join that. Uh, and then the more important part of YPO, people tell you the networking and all that, that's nice, but the important part of it is actually your forum. Okay, and form is where you pick six or eight people or they pick you. They have to be in a business that's non-conflicting. Uh, and then you will always say, oh, I don't have time for this. And you'll find that that's the best time you spent mm. that month because you can actually now talk about ideas. You, people need to have some peer-to-peer -peer network yeah. and mentoring. And, you know, engineering school gives you that in, in some respects um, at, at that level. And that's an important part of the refinement ultimately as an entrepreneur and an executive is to create a peer network to engage with. So those are the things I think that are important as entrepreneurs to, 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 to focus on.